Hey guys, I just arrived at Fruit de la Vie right now. I'm sitting in my car waiting for Jolene. But I have my coffee here and it's a beautiful day out in Winnipeg today. The sun is shining and the snow is melting. I'm just gonna head on in right now, so Lego. Here. We have the heartbeat, cafe, golden roots, the cure shot. What's the cure shot? So this is an activated charcoal shot. Um, it's activated charcoal, pineapple, beetroot, coconut water, and ginger. Mm -hmm. There's tons of health benefits with that. And this is the sweet potato noodles. Ooh, I'm so excited to try these. There's our butternut squash soup and our house Japanese miso ginger salad. Yum. Oh, well, thank you so much, Jolene, for having me in today. Thanks for coming in. And I'm excited to try these goodies. I will update you guys and let you know. I am going to be heading to the gym right away because I didn't actually get a chance to go to the gym earlier just because I had to get some stuff done in the morning and then I headed here right away. But I'm going to go get my workout on and then I will update you on my meals from Fruit de la Vie. See you in a bit. Day. Hey guys, good morning. Today is Thursday, March 6th. I am just waking up and heading out the door and I'm just making a quick breakfast right now. Uh, but I'm going to try this cafe from Fruit de la Vie. It has sprouted almonds, espresso, maple syrup, vanilla, pink Himalayan salt, and alkaline water. I am a coffee fanatic and I'm sure you know that from previous videos, but I'm going to try this because I usually brew a cup of coffee in the morning in my French press, but we're going to see how this holds up for me today. Okay, so I'm going to give this thing a good shake. Cheers! Mmm, it's really nice. It's actually really light, but I really like how the coffee taste is coming through on this one. It kind of tastes like the Starbucks um, iced coffees that you buy in the bottles, obviously with a lot less sugar. Um, so this would be a great alternative to that. Plus it is dairy free and it's a lot healthier for you, I'm sure. But it has the kick of espresso in it, which will give you a nice jolt for your day if you are an espresso fan, which I am. I have to run out to an appointment right now, but I'm going to finish drinking this and also just going to eat my little breakfast sandwich that I made here to go. This is just something that I make when I am kind of in a hurry, but I'm gonna quickly scarf this down and finish my coffee and then I will keep you guys posted. Several days later. Why is it so white? Oh, there we go. Did it hey guys, hey. welcome to, what day is it? Sunday, March it's 8th. Sunday, March 8th. Me and Taylor, we are heading to a blogger brunch hosted by Tokyo Smoke right now. I'm more than ready for a coffee right now and <laughs> Breakfast, vlogception, vlog as usual. I'm just <laughs> going together. I'm really out of breath. I'm so cute. I thought I was fit from Orange Theory, but I guess not. I'm just really hungry. I'm starving. <gasps> but it's so cold. Ooh, it smells weed. I know, I'm like low key. Are you guys gonna send us home with a goodie bag? Yeah. Do we get some good against? Hey guys, so we're headed to the brunch place called Kitchen Sink. So I'm super excited because I've never actually been to this place or heard of it. So it should be exciting. Are you hungry? Yes. <laughs> I'm always hungry. <laughs>
Tokyo Smoke and like what they offer as well. So we'll keep you posted on that. March 10th today and I had work earlier in the day I actually had like a sales training that I had to do so it was a pretty relaxed day for the most part I came home and the Sun was shining and the weather right now is super nice it's actually really warm out and it just feels like spring so I decided that it was time for me to switch up my room and switch around the energy I find when I switch it up I definitely feel like it's a new space for me and usually that allows me to get the creative juices flowing again so I'm gonna show you what I did to my space and you guys can see how it looks I guess you know oh hello kitty so yeah I did a major sweep on it around two but I moved some of my plants here and my let that shit go poster I also moved um, I kept a lot of my stuff down here as is but then I also moved my shelf over here with my Himalayan salt lamp this was like one of the main changes that I made I did put a desk area here just because I like having a station where I can edit video and work on my stuff and I really was lacking that in my room but yeah it's um, six o'clock now the time change has kind of messed me up but I'm now adjusting to it and it's actually nice that we are getting some sunlight at 6 p.m. Winter time in Winnipeg it just feels like it gets dark by like 4 p.m. and you get off work and yeah it's starting to feel like summer and I'm really excited so I felt like today was the day that I should switch up my space but I'm gonna go to the gym soon and just relax tonight because I have another full day ahead of me tomorrow but yeah four to six days later hello hey, hey guys hey, hey, hey. hey. um we are out here at birds hill right now walking around he's taking some photos but we've been stuck inside all day so we decided to come out here it's pretty chilly out that's dedication right there people's See, I like snow but not rain because snow you can just dust off. Yeah, I would rather much have rain to be honest. I love winter, I'm happy. I'm happy and cold. Terrible. Happy and cold. <sighs> okay, my fingers are so cold right now. I need some nits, yo. Oh, my fingers are frozen. And my lips are trying to freeze. This is what it feels like in, to be a Winnipegger. 
Well, Winnipeg are without gloves, actually. If I had gloves and it was about, if, ugh, can't even talk. Why is the car so far away? I don't know. But anyways, I'm fucking cold. This walk is taking forever. We part kind of far, so we did make it quite far, but the sun just feels so nice. Like, I love this. Wait, stay there. What? Stay in the middle. Oh, it's another vlogception. Is my phone making my butt look weird? What? Does the phone make my butt look weird or no? I don't know. I think I'm starting to get hypothermia. Really? Oh no. <laughs> no, not really, but we should still get to the car as soon as possible. Oh, you're just over exaggerating. Due to the coronavirus, we did have to stay in our Airbnb the whole time, but we still made it work and we had a lot of fun regardless. We made a lot of food and had a lot of wine and Netflix nights, and I'm super thankful we got to spend that time. We unfortunately had to cut our visit a little short because of the uncertainty of air travel and health. He's leaving me early. I'm so sad. Wait. Oh. Yeah. Say bye to the vlog. Bye. I'm, oh, I look like a mess. Jesus Christ. <sighs> We used to leave because the borders are closing and it's a scary time, so I wish you safe travels, babe. Bye. Hey guys, um, so I just dropped Aaron off at the airport and I'm pretty sad just because our little visit got cut about four days short, so it really sucks. I understand that it's for the safety of everyone and obviously it's not the best time for traveling right now, so. But regardless, we had a lot of fun. Long distance relationships are already hard enough, but with this travel ban in effect, it is even harder. And I think I'm just like super sad just because I'm not necessarily sure when the next time I'm gonna see him is. And like, that's the thing that worries me about this whole COVID-19 thing is we don't know when it's going away and it's just so uncertain right now. So that's the reason why I feel pretty down about it right now but I know that we'll eventually get through this we just have to all work together and take the necessary precautions that we need to to stop this from spreading even more I'm not working right now as well so I think I'm gonna take this time to get creative and I'm going to be self isolating I'm gonna try to do some home workouts go for some walks outside and just get in touch with myself because that's really all that I can do right now I just hope everyone is staying safe out there wherever you are. I am trying to keep a positive outlook on how this is going to play out for everyone. It's a huge lifestyle change for so many people. So having to stay home and not be on the go or not be making plans. I'm used to going to work every day. I have my regular routine. I go to the gym. I go work more. <laughs> Um, I make plans with friends when I'm not working. I think I really want to use this time to be productive. That's why I'm saying this is bittersweet. It's terrible that this is happening around the world and that this virus is affecting so many people's lives in a negative way and people are dying. But it's also kind of like a wake up call for humanity to wake up to what's going on around the world and wake up to the fact that we all should be working together in order to thrive and in order to continue living on this planet. You don't realize what you have until you're in a situation like this and it makes you really thankful for all the things that you already do have. <sighs> but yeah, I am just gonna stop ranting right now. Um, I'm just feeling some type of way. I'm keeping a positive outlook, everything will be okay and we just have to stay positive. As much as I want to cower down and just be mopey and sad and cry my eyes out, even though I already did a bunch of that last night. Um, yeah, just have to stay positive and roll the punches and do what we gotta do to continue living. So I'll just keep you guys posted throughout the day. So.
Hey guys, so it is day seven in quarantine right now, except for going out to get groceries and food. I am starting to uh, feel a little off my rocker, not gonna lie. I think I just wake up in the morning and I feel like somewhat depressed. It's the uncertainty, I think, that I'm more so worried about. <sighs> it's just stressful. One hour later. Okay, so I managed to do my hair. It took me like an hour to do this. But anyways, it actually feels good to have normal clothes on and not like gym clothes or just sweatpants. And actually doing my makeup and hair today made me feel a bit more normal. But <clears throat> I haven't gone outside today and I'm kind of feeling like some type of way right now. And honestly, all I can do is eat at this time. All I can think about is food. I'll get healthy. Good thing I made tacos. I've literally been eating tacos for, well, I ate tacos yesterday, but it's literally such an easy thing to make. And this is veggie ground. Like, uh, I have my taco. Welcome to the vlog, Kayla. <laughs> Nina! So, so attractive. A few moments later. Hey guys, so I just needed to get out of the house for a little bit because being inside for like seven days basically besides getting groceries is kind of making me a little crazy right now, not gonna lie. It still seems pretty normal outside, not gonna lie. There's like some cars, what time is it? It's 4.51 on a Sunday, so yeah, I mean there's definitely a lot less cars. <sighs> I feel crazy. It's definitely been a challenging month for me so far, but I've been taking time to go for walks when I can. And I definitely miss going out to eat with friends, but thankfully I have roommates at home and it's never a dull moment here. I've also been taking this time to do things that I've been wanting to do for forever now, but never really got the chance because I've been working so much. but I'm super thankful for my health and having a roof over my head and food in the fridge and I'm very grateful for what I have in my life. Hey guys, welcome to the end of the vlog. Today is March 31st and it's been well over two weeks for being in self-isolation, but I hope everyone is staying safe out there. The only thing that's been keeping me sane is going for walks and going for runs like I am right now, but hopefully we get past this soon. But I just want to thank you so much for taking some time to watch the vlog today. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, which is at Nicole V with two E's at the end. And also subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.